We've been covering the Jade Helm conspiracy. The conspiracy theory that was first uh, pretty much brought to the spotlight by Alex Jones. The most famed conspiracy theorist who somehow has this platform. I mean, credit to him for building it, but, you know, it's amazing that this guy is able to say what he says and have it travel so far. But, you know, Jade Helm's been around now for, for months. We covered it last month, just as it started to reach sort of a mainstream, uh, it started to reach the mainstream and uh, people started to, people outside of Texas and the surrounding area, area started to really uh, become in tune with what's going on there. Uh, so just to give you a quick refresher, there are people in the West, in Texas and the surrounding states, who believe that there are military operations going on right now. And there are. It's called training. But they believe these military operations are uh, the U.S. government preparing to go into Texas and other states, round up all the people, the conservatives, and bring them to camps set up in Walmart. That's right, Walmart detention centers. And it's, it's part of a military coup to uh, base for Obama basically be, to uh, become that final step in becoming a true tyrant and control all of us. Take our guns, uh, I guess finally make same-sex marriage the law of the land. You know, the horror. The horror. But, you know, a few weeks ago, Rick Perry came out. That's right, Rick Perry. And he said, unlike my successor, the current governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, who is actually using state funds to try and find out what is going on, what's truly going on. I have to set up an investigation to find out what these military operations are. Are they really trying to overthrow the American people and the current state of uh, Texas, the current government in Texas? You know... Rick Perry, of all people, came out and said, that's absurd. I disagree with his reasoning behind it, that we should question our government, but never the military. Never. I mean, that's bizarre to me. But he was saying, I'm not one of those crazies. I'm not Ted Cruz, who actually sent a letter to the Pentagon asking, are you guys really planning a military coup? Because, <laughs> you know, obviously... That's how you stop military coups. You just ask them. And I'd they, like a heads up on that. Yeah, and then they can't surprise you with one anymore. It's right. part of the rules of the, you know, it's one of the one laws they can't, they can't stop <laughs> when they actually partake in their military coup. It's just, you know, they have morals, man. Well, Rick Perry goes on Glenn Beck show. And I guess Rick Perry realized that, you know, if I'm actually planning to run for president again, which is hilarious in its own, his own, its own right. But if I'm actually planning on go, uh, running for president again, I guess I need to walk that back a bit and uh, actually try to appeal to the crazies. And what better way than going on? I'm totally not establishment, man, even though I support nine out of the ten establishment figures running for president, Glenn Beck. A frightening thing happened that I've never seen in my lifetime. A growing distrust of the government from people who are usually waving the flag and, and very pro America and pro government. I don't know if we ever should have been pro government, but um, people that generally have trusted the government. We had Operation Jade Helm, and you know, I mean, that took law abiding normal citizens, a lot of people saying, wait a minute, what's going on? Is the government going to try to take over Texas? I mean, some crazy things are happening now because yeah, we don't trust each other. Here's, here's an interesting, I think, and, and if you put a, an individual, and I'll use myself, you know, I haven't announced for the presidency, but if I did, let's say that I were to become the president of the United States. Pause it. I think there will be a... Let's say that Rick Perry becomes the president of the United States. Let's continue. <laughs> Clearly, change of attitude towards that office, what comes out of that office, the messaging that comes out of that office that clearly puts America back on a course where people, 
I hope people always question government. They should. Our founding fathers uh, sent us that message that we ought to question government. But don't question your military. Don't question the men and women who have put their hands up and sworn this oath to our Constitution and defend this country. Let's just go over this, because Rick Perry says some pretty hilarious things. And the reason I'm covering this is because Glenn Beck is becoming, once again, a figure that uh, the mainstream is paying more attention to. Uh, I know he sort of disappeared a little bit after he left Fox News. But, you know, The Blaze is actually a successful growing media property. It's growing and it's spreading in terms of its reach. And Glenn Beck's show in particular is starting to get more attention, uh, especially as we get to 2016, and especially as he's pretending that he's not, you know, I'm against the Republican Party, man. And people are, are buying into that, even though he's for nine out of the ten people who are running for the Republican uh, primary. But just because he's not for Jeb Bush, apparently, that means he's anti-establishment. You know, put aside his support for Scott Walker, put aside his support for Marco Rubio, put aside his support for Rand Paul, Ted Cruz, and all the other people who've come out. And we got Rick Perry now, who is surely going to announce. So, but let's, let's talk about what Rick Perry is saying. You know, Glenn Beck goes on and says, we should always question our government. And then we have Rick Perry saying, yeah, you should, except when I'm president. You can trust me when I become president. I mean, we all know he's never going to become president. But you think Mr. Anti-Establishment Glenn Beck would press him on that. But no, he lets him continue because Rick Perry is now buying into this Jade Helm conspiracy. And that plays into what Glenn Beck is selling. And that's that Obama, evil Obama, the tyrant. He's out to make sure this Jade Helm goes through. And then Rick Perry, of course, doubles down in the whole don't question your military. Uh, don't ever do that because, you know, there's a military coup and there's a soldier pointing a gun at you and he's... About to shoot you. Don't question that. If Don't question that. I mean, it's absurd, but you have to look at it from their perspective. Rick Perry is saying he believes Jade Helm. Glenn Beck is saying he believes Jade Helm. And at the same time, they're saying, but you got to love the military, man. <laughs> I mean, yes, the military, they're just following orders and you should support your troops. But... I'm reckon to believe that I reckon to believe that you know I'm speaking Texas now, <laughs> but uh, you know I believe that you know if a soldier was actually partaking in a military coup and overthrowing the American government, spitting in the Constitution's face, we should question that military. But they want their cake and they want to eat it too. So Jade Helm's bad because Obama. But you still got to love the military, man. And it's amazing that their listeners and their base feeds into that and they believe it. They don't, they don't even question that. Embarrassing. Really, it's embarrassing. It's the only word. Yeah. It's pathetic. It's embarrassing. It is. It is. 